What's up, gents? I'm Geo Fatboy for Shave Nation Shaving Supplies, ShaveNation.com. If you decided to grow a beard from November, or if you're like me and you just normally like to grow a beard for a month or two during the winter, to help keep your face warm, change things up a bit, you don't need to look like a caveman, a Cro-Magnon man. Trim it out. Make it look nice so you look presentable. Check out this video and I'll show you how to trim it out using several different tools. Hopefully you have some of these items in your shave den and you can get your beard lined up and looking up nice and clean. And if you want to purchase any of the items, just click the link under the video or go to ShaveNation.com and uh, we'll get you hooked up. Thanks for watching the video, by the way. Enjoy. I use this Japanese style razor made by Feather. It uses the injector style blades. These are the uh, professional, Feather professional blades. You don't want to use anything like this. How do you get a straight line with five blades? It's not going to happen. You know, it just doesn't work. So, uh, I can also use the safety razor. This is a Merker HD, one of the most popular safety razors, uh, HD 34C. So I use all these different tools and just give you an idea uh, how you can go about trimming with whatever tools you might have. First, I like to warm up my beard. So hold up a face cloth and warm it up. You can see how the face turns red. That's because I'm using hot water and the blood comes right to the surface. So that's the reason your face turns red. I like to do two or three applications of the hot towel just to thoroughly ensure that the beard is nice and soft. That's good enough. You can use any kind of a shaving cream, but you can't really see the lines where you want to be at if you're using a shaving cream. So I like to use a clear gel. And uh, I'm going to plug this product because uh, I like it. And we don't even carry this at Shave Nation, but I don't know, maybe by the time this video comes out we will. Or uh, I'd actually like to get this made myself and put the Shave Nation name on it if possible. But anyway, this is, uh, this is called Easy Blade Shaving Gel, and it's by Jay the Barber. All you do is, it comes in a pump bottle, that's what this is, you just squirt some out. And it's green. It's got uh, ingredients, lavender, chamomile, essential oils, and glycerin. External use only, of course. I'm going to leave the face slightly damp with hot water. And just rub this in all over in the areas where I'm going to shave. And you can see that it doesn't turn creamy. It just stays uh, slick. It's got a really great smell to it. Yeah, that's the lavender and chamomile. It smells, smells very appealing. Just a light, a light, sweet, really good smell. So I just rub this in all over. And what's great about it is you can rub it directly into your beard and you can still see exactly where you want to be with your line, with whatever razor you're using. And I like to apply a little hot water along with it too. Dry the fingers. If all you have is a safety razor, that'll work. Just run it under hot water. And I like to start in the middle because if you start on one side, by the time you get to the other side, it's not going to be even. Chances are. So I start right in the middle. And trim it up to wherever you think you might like it. I just take short strokes like that. And trim it. So you're lining it out this way. After you've grown your beard for a while, you can go in the other direction and just stop right up to the beard. You naturally get some ingrown hairs when you have a beard and uh, the hairs curl under and grow back in again. Here's another option is this uh, Dovo Shavette. So to go this way. If you have this, just uh, use that, start at wherever you want that line to be and work your way down. And this uses half of a uh, safety razor blade. You just insert it into this red insert. I'll post a link. I have a whole other video that shows uh, how to use this razor, how to load it, the different inserts, all that. So I'll post that next to the video as well. You can click on it and check it out. But here, just a light touch. And that will give you a, a nice smooth line. Much easier doing it with one blade than two, three, four, or five blades. Here's the, here's the feather Japanese razor. 
Uh, you can go with the grain or against the grain. On my neck, I kind of like to go with against the grain in this area. You can see how well that works. And you can really line it up by doing so. This is a great little tool. Uh, it's a feat of engineering made in Japan. The way it loads, you just squeeze the spine and you insert the blade. You can either insert it directly from the injector or uh, you can pop the blade out and drop it in. I'll also post uh, a video on how to do that as well next to it. I'll post a link and you just click on that and you can check it out. But this gives you a real nice line. As you can see, and again, just much easier with one blade. There you go. Okay, so now up here, in this area, just put a little hot water on there, lubricate it. And this is very slippery, very slick. You could use any type of uh, shaving gel. We sell many different kinds. And if you're using your uh, safety razor, again, just start up here, work your way down, and trim it to however you want it to be. If you want it to be like an inch going straight down, you can do that. Just about like that. See, at least this way it looks neat, it looks trim. And if you're using the shavette, you will just do the same. I like to puff out my cheek a little bit. Like so. And if you're using a Japanese style razor, same way. What I like about this, it's got some weight to it. Uh, there's weight at the head, there's weight in the handle. It's a rubber grip. It just feels real nice in the hand. And you can really see what you're doing. You can also use the uh, feather folding razor. Um, just for trimming, I, I find that this works quite well. The good thing about this, you can actually feel when the blade goes up to the point where the hair is, it slows down a little bit, so you can stop it wherever you want to and make your line. I mean, really that's, for the outline, that's about how I like it. I like it to be a little thicker here, and then going into the goatee area. Now this area, you can trim like so. Let's see if I can get uh, this way. I like to clean that area out, kind of square it off like that. You can see the difference. Just like that. Now if you're using your safety razor, uh, same way with the shavette, you'd get in there and trim it out like that. Just like so. Now if you're using your safety razor, uh, what I like to do is it's too wide to go this way, so I like to turn it sideways like this and just work from the middle out towards the ear. Just keep biting away at it until you get the desired effect that you want. Like that. See I've got the middle straight across coming down and got this area cleaned out. I just don't like the, uh, the hairs growing down from the bottom into my lip so I clean this whole area out and I think it's a nice it's a nicer look to have this cleaned out but again it's personal preference you know whatever you like that's what you do. If you need to do any trimming up here you know, just uh, line out your mustache. You could do that. Just like that. I feel it's also a big plus to have a, an electric trimmer. This is a battery operated and this trimmer. 
I love this trimmer. It's got a great motor. It's nice and quiet. Uh, it doesn't bite. Sometimes they bite you when you're trimming. This one's nice and smooth. It doesn't bite. It cuts cleanly. This clipper has separate attachments that you can remove and replace. And they come in different sizes. There will be a uh, 1 16th, 1 8th, 1 quarter inch, and 3 eighths of an inch. Just snap your desired attachment on to the clipper. This is a uh, 1 8th of an inch. The easiest way is to trim down your beard while it's still dry before you go at it with your razor. Just brush it down like this. And then take your clipper and uh, again this is the 1 8th of an inch. You can do whatever length you prefer. After you've done that, you've set it to your desired length, then you can get your razor and wet your face and go about outlining or lining up your beard however you'd like to do it. So this is what you would use to trim your lip area. Just dry it off. It works better when it's dry. And just trim here in this area. Again, take little bites. Till you get the desired effect. See, I like a little eighth of an inch line across the lip. Again, personal preference. If you like it to grow further, you can. If you, if you like the Clark Gable shorter, you can do that as well. If you don't have a trimmer, you can use, it's a little more difficult, you can use your uh, straight edge like so. What you want to do is just take little bites. Like that, until you get this area cleaned out. I mean, I think that's it for now. I still have the gel in there, so I'll rinse that out. You can see how that looks. I've got a little more salt than uh, pepper this year, it seems. I usually like to grow a little beard during November, December, and, uh, and then shave it off. So, anyway, I hope that helps you uh, using all different types of products. A safety razor, a shave it style razor, a uh, feather Japanese style razor, just uh, whatever you might have in your shaving den or your, your rotation, uh, you can trim your beard out with it. You can make do. Check out my other videos and uh, visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. Click the link under the video and you can purchase any of these products. Again, uh, this, was, this was Easy Blade by Jay the Barber. And uh, we don't even carry this at Shave Nation yet. so. I just thought I'd put it out there because he sent it to me and uh, I, I always try to try different products when people send them to me and this works quite well. I'm very happy with it. I'm able to see my lines through that clear gel and uh, he did a good job with it. When the, beard is, when the beard is just in the process of growing in like this, the definition doesn't have to be perfect. As it grows in and it's a little bit thicker, then you can really see your lines and you can really define it and make it perfect if you want a pencil, if you want... Uh, any type of uh, goatee or however you want to design it. Uh, if you want to do the, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? Star Tony Stark. If you want to do the Tony Stark, you know, fancy it up, you can do that too. But it's easier when your beard's thicker and, you know, there's more to work with and you can define it. And uh, since you have that contrast between your skin and the straight lines of the beard, it looks much better. If you'd like to purchase any of these products, uh, click the link underneath the video or go to ShaveNation.com and like ShaveNation.com on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Geo Fat Boy. And as always, have a great shave. Have a great day.